today we're going to be talking about Vifka by Muhammad al Kurd. If you are someone who keeps up with what's happening in Palestine at the moment, over the years, and in particular last year, you will be aware of who uh, Muhammad al Kurd is and his sister, Munna al Kurd. Uh, they have kind of become the voice for the younger generation, and by that I mean the younger generation across the world, uh, for Palestine. And uh, I believe both Muhammad and his sister Munna were on the Times as top 100 influential people of 2021. And Muhammad released this poetry collection at the tail end of last year, named Rifka, which is after his grandmother. And I, I admit, I'm not a person who really reads poetry. I don't get poetry, I've said that before. But reading this, I couldn't help but be so moved. And look, it, I may be biased because I am a fan of Muhammad and his work. I don't know him personally, but I was so moved by this collection. And from the start to the end, there's, even from the beginning, there was one uh, born on Nakba Day, or one just titled after his grandmother, Rifka, which I loved. And then towards the end, I, I think at the very end, I sat and read these all in one go. And at the end, he speaks about his grandmother and her passing. And throughout reading this, my emotions, and again, I admit I'm a person who gets very emotional very easily, especially when reading. Um, by the end, I just, I had to stop and I had to just, and and it, again, it's, it's the emotions that this put me through, and especially him talking about his grandmother, uh, again, a woman I don't know, but I was so moved by his very clear and obvious love for his grandmother and th this entire collection oozes with the pain and the pain and the love he felt for not just his grandmother but for where he grew up for Palestine for the Palestinian people for Palestinian liberation all of that kind of just trips from the pages and it, it, it's just another thing I just really wanted to point out that is something that, from the very little poetry I have read, is something that I don't feel is used a lot or used enough, was just the spacing and the use of the page. For a lot of the poems, parts of the page were used up. There were areas that were sporadically filled with words. There were breaks within the words. There was half a word on the left and half a word on the right. Breaks halfway through a word. Poems that kind of looked like they were meant to be in articles. Poems that you could tell the formatting of the poem itself represented the feelings of the poem itself, disjointed melting away, fading, quickening. It's, these are all things that, look, some of the most popular uh, poetry uh, that I remember, especially having worked in a bookshop, were things like Milk and Honey. And looking at that, it's not formatted like that. Again, again obviously, I don't know a lot about poems. Maybe those were great poems. But this, it the, the, the team who put this book, this edit together. It might have been Muhammad himself who decided on that, I'm not sure. But it's just, it, it adds a lot to these already touching and moving poems. And I just feel like it, it just elevated it even more. And these poems would have made me emotional. They would have made me cry as, the collection did in the end. It would have done that without that, but that brought another level to it. It, I, I can't praise this enough. And again, this is me coming from it as someone who is moved emotionally by this. I'm not someone who specialized in poetry. Despite my years of learning the English language in education, I 
can't speak to that. But if you want it's going to move you, I would 100% recommend this. So, look, I think you should go and get Rifka by Muhammad al Kurd. Uh, I will put a link to somewhere you can buy it in the UK. Obviously, I will try to avoid Amazon. I know it's there, but I'll try to avoid it. And just be prepared if you're anything like me and you get very emotional. And again, if you're someone who cares about Palestine and cares about Muhammad and follows him and follows his journey and his family and want the best for him and not just him, his family, all Palestinians, be prepared to be moved and just, yeah, I, I can't, I can't recommend this enough. So if you have read this, please let me know down below your thoughts, especially if you're someone who understands poetry more than me. I, w I, w I want to know. And yeah, let, let me know if you're going to pick this up. Thank, thank you for watching. And yeah, go, go pick up Rivka as, as soon as you can.